Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick overview here of The Incredible Hulk by Peter David, Volume 1 Omnibus. This is the second printing which just came out. And I'm not going to talk about the contents because I actually haven't read this yet. I have Volumes 2 and 3 and I'm going to get 4. I haven't started reading them because I missed out on Volume 1 uh, back in the first printing. And uh, I've been waiting for this so I can just start from the very beginning. But I'm going to talk about build quality because I'm going to tell you right off the bat it's not looking good. <laughs> So let's go over that. Um, so here is the, the dust jacket, front of the dust jacket, obviously. And the spine of the book, I'm pretty sure this is all the same as the first printing. Back of the book, standard stuff. You got pictures of all the uh, covers from all the issues that are collected in this volume. If we get the dust jacket off. We've got really nice artwork here by Todd McFarlane, wrapping around all the way to the back. It's really nice. I actually kind of prefer this over the dust jacket. Now let's get into the build quality here. So this one is printed at the iMac printer in Turkey, which for those of you who are obsessive like me about this kind of stuff is uh, that printer doesn't have the best reputation among us omnibus collectors. Uh, right away, the pages are thin. Uh, yeah, uh, like, I don't know if you can see it. If I bring it up close. So there, you can look, see right through the yellow on this page to the other side. Uh, which is really annoying. And yet, again here, anytime there is a lighter color on the page, obviously white is gonna do that, but this kind of light yellow, you can see everything. <laughs> you can see a lot on the other side of the page. It's not good. This, this paper is so thin. Again, like, this issue in particular, this first issue, is there's so much yellow because of the the sunset or whatever, and you can see right through. Yeah, and here's here's a nice one. So right there, you've got the white in Hulk's trail as he jumps. You've got the white in or the yellow in the sky. You can literally see the sound effect on the other side of this page, plus the gutters between the panels, and the dialogue, the words. Um, yeah, and it just kind of continues all the way through this book. Really, really thin paper. Actually, it almost seems like it's worse when it's yellow than when it's white. I'm not sure why. Maybe just the the hue brings out the 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 artwork on the other side much more I don't know vividly who knows but suffice to say thin pages you can see right through them it's not great and uh, on my particular copy if I can get to that page I also have. Uh, I have a cut line on, here we go. It's either a cut line or they folded the page. I don't know if you can see. There's some kind of fold or cut line along these pages here. You can see it right there. I don't know what that is. Um, and this is bad. So first off, this page, uh, it's not clear. Uh, <laughs> See right there, five, you know, look at the number 535, it's blurry. It's actually uh, kind of printed twice over top of itself. Same thing goes with the yard on this page. And then there's that cut line I was talking about. I'm going right up the page. Really bad quality control here. I don't know if it's just my volume in particular that has this problem or my copy, but uh, yeah. It, I mean, it makes me regret pre-ordering these books because 
I don't know. Lately, this isn't the first pre-ordered omnibus I've had problems with, and they've all been with books that come out of this this printer, the iMac printer. Uh, now binding. So I did ease the binding in. Um, you know, I did the did the whole routine a couple of times. As soon as I unwrapped this book, took the plastic wrapping off it, and started to you know do the you know, open it a few pages on either side and got it eased that, eased that binding in. Uh, I saw right away my binding is separating. I haven't. I've literally all I've done is ease the binding in twice. Uh, after the first time, as soon as I got it down to the middle here, I was looking for the eye. No eye. Why? Because the binding is separating from this ribbon here. Um, yeah, this is really, really bad and really, really, really frustrating. So I was, I'm looking forward to reading this. I'm still looking forward to reading this. I picked this up from my LCS, my local comic shop, so uh, I don't know if they can help me out here with, with a copy that has so many issues with it. And there's also some kind of weird, another cut line, I don't know if you can see it here on this. It's This is really bad, man. I love Marvel Omnibuses, but they gotta do something about the quality control here, especially for the the books coming out of the iMac printer. I mean, the, there have been good books coming from that printer, but sometimes when it gets bad, it gets really bad. Um, and the paper is just so thin. The binding is coming apart already. Anyway, yeah, that's a that's a quick quick look at the build quality of the Peter David Incredible Hulk Omnibus Volume One. There's a second printing, like I said. It's got some problems. So, if you got the second printing, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you have the same issues as I do, or maybe I've just got the one lemon in the batch. But um, hopefully, for anyone else who picks up a copy, you've got a. Uh, a solid one that's built well and uh, luckier than me. So uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you next time.